Cusser. Support Mike Be the Grinder. Dot com, all the spotlight, you know. I'm out there doing my thing. I'm all over the place, you know. So right now, I'm sitting here with my dude, Marcus Page. Uh, he's the author of the book, Growing Pains. He has a cookbook. He has several other books. The guy does poetry all around. Good dad. Um, he do a lot of good things. So, I mean, I met him a long, long time ago. <laughs> I knew he had uh, great things uh, going for him. So right now, I just want to introduce to you Marcus Page, you know, inspiring author, or author already, not inspiring because they have seven, seven books plus he does poetry. So, and stay tuned to him because he's looking to bring something different to the poetry game. Uh, so, Marcus Page, uh, introduce yourself, let him know what's going on with you, man. And, uh, All right. How you doing? My name is Marcus Page. I'm a poet slash author. Like Mike B said, I have several books out. You know, I've been doing this for a minute. I've been uh, performing poetry since 98. And I've been uh, publishing books since 2009, so I'm not new to the game. You know, I've done uh, book fairs in Texas, Atlanta. I have one coming up in New York and at the Harlem Book Festival. So mm -hmm. yeah, um, I'm just trying to make it happen. You know? right, so trying to bring awareness of not only my poetry but the city of New Orleans to the world. Okay, so you just want to kind of like open up New Orleans or the doors for poetry? Yeah, the doors for poets, authors. You know everything. You know we have so much talent in this city, and I just want the world to know that you know about our talent. So you just, you just want to look beyond some of the negative uh, yes. vices that take place in New Orleans, the murders, the everything. I know. I mean, but every city have its have its vices and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But being a young man, I appreciate and I respect what you're doing, bringing something new because we we can't be out there breaking in houses. So buy his book, so you don't have to bring it to your house. Exactly. Just joking. <laughs> But anyway, uh, so what inspired you to uh, do uh, poetry? Oh man, uh, it was love. Okay. Back in high school, uh, young right. love, and you know, from that I just I started writing and I was reading poetry. I was reading Maya Angelou and even Shakespeare. Okay. So that's what started me writing. Oh okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So you went from poetry, then you went to writing books. So man, I'm doing the poetry, but I mean, I done read some of your books. I mean, they are great. They they well thought out and. It's, it's not all over the place, y'all folks. The concentrate because I, I read Growing Pains, mm -hmm. and it's seven stories. But each story I was able to relate to. Mm -hmm. Either I knew someone by, I knew vicariously or act, about by actual experience. Though. So mm -hmm. I mean, they are well thought out and they're real focused. And, 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 I, and I do like that. So um, what should, when will you see yourself in the next five years? Uh, oh, um, I see myself right now. I'm working on a publishing company. That's why I see myself helping other people, you know, other inspiring writers to write books. So I want to branch off and I just want to keep growing and doing different things and, you know, mm -hmm. being productive. Oh, and bringing right. awareness to the communities. Well, well you're doing a great job because y'all, after this scene, you're going to see a clip of him performing. Our uh, Growing Pains uh, is a poem that he come up with titled after the book. Then he's doing another performance. That's when you was at Istanbul. Yeah, Club Istanbul. And uh, that was Trinice, uh Trinice Duplessis, yeah. Okay, it's her okay. uh, artist showcase. Okay. You know, we, she'd be doing those every month. She'd be okay. doing those every month. All so, right. Yeah, we'll be doing a lot of work, me and her. We'll be doing a lot of work together. I understand and, she's writing a book or something. Uh, yeah, or, she's. we working on a book, and uh, I'm going to be uh, a publisher. Oh, okay. Book, so. All right, so say, say if I had someone out here uh, write music, and they didn't quite know what direction to go and they want to get publishing for their music. Are you able to direct them in that pad on how to do those different well, things? I, mean, I really don't do too much music, but I am. But it's about, I'm just talking about getting getting the copy, yeah, owning, own, owning them, the, 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 the material for getting the copy written and everything like that. Yeah. So, I mean, because a lot of, they have a lot of young uh, uh, people out there that write songs and they give them to people and they don't own it. Mm -hmm. So I would hate for them to give away a million dollar hit to someone and don't own it. Exactly. You know, so because if you put it out there on Facebook or the social media, or you drop it on the ground and somebody picks it up and go make it a hit, and you don't own it, there's nothing you can do. I mean, exactly. that person know and you know, but when it comes down to the money, you got to protect yourself. I'm going to tell you like this. Uh, you could go online and uh, get it copyrighted, get your songs copyrighted. Uh, another easy way to do it, a person told me a long time ago, you uh, make copies of it and mail it oh, to yourself. Oh, that poor man copyright that, 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 that that's, that's okay, but... Yeah, but... In, in the days, the way things are these days, I think we gotta get a little bit more technical with that, because 
laws have changed, and, and you know, I'm sure there are some laws out there that will knock that down. But I mean, but I was just that was just something that I was just putting out there because I know a lot of people want to do some things, but they yet they just don't don't have the insight of the, the knowledge that sometimes they have them about asking people. So, but you're a very approachable person, so I thought I'd put that out there. So in the next five years, you're looking to bring light to New Orleans poetry. And you plan on doing the movies or anything? Or? Yeah, I'm doing some movies. Uh, I have a friend of mine that's working, that want to work on a book together, and she wants to do a movie with that. So, uh, I mean, like Growing Pains itself, they have seven stories, and any one of those stories would make a great movie. You know? Right, and I, and I was looking at this. I was looking at the short skits of it. Mm -hmm. I love something like that. It could what make a mean? movie, it could be plays. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, definitely. So, but uh, have you thought about writing a play? So what we have next, uh, we have an awesome brother, humble brother, um, this guy, Jack of all trades, he's an awesome cook, uh, he has a cookbook out, uh, he has a novel out, he's, he's all the chain plus he's a poet, he's an awesome dad, uh, just gifted all the way around. He's going to come up and do some uh, spoken word poetry pieces. Coming to the stage, Marcus Bay! for y'all tonight. This first piece is entitled Growing Pains. It's uh, like, it's from my book, Growing Pains, and it's kind of like a tribute to the book. The book is about, uh, it's a short story book about inspiration and motivational pieces, uh, real life situations. And you can find it on Amazon or barnesandnobles.com. Growing Pains. What can possess someone so blessed to take their own life? Leaving everyone who's ever loved them so far behind. So close to death, what enters their mind? How can in death you hope to shine? The answer to your questions, in death you won't find. Sitting here depressed with a handful of pills. So much pain, all these regrets. It's just my last meal. And I'm thinking of the words to say goodbye, holding back the tears forming in my eyes. Knowing for a fact that I'm going to die. Killing myself and I don't know why. I have no friends because I'm just too shy. Seems like my whole life is based on a lie. I keep getting messed over no matter how hard I try. Don't have enough food, can't afford to eat. Have to beg for money to keep shoes on my feet. My kids, I can't support losing them to the streets. Spent my whole life being raped and abused. Spent my whole life being lost and confused. Surviving each day, but one day I'm gonna lose. See my mother at my funeral, crying the blues. But I love the Lord. This is not his will. He tore me down only to rebuild and I grow stronger every day I survive. I grow stronger every day I'm alive. Once I struggled, now I thrive. Live for the future. Live for today. Have faith in God. To him you pray. God never intended for you to live this way. This world needs you. You must stay. I know you're hurting, but it's not too late. I know you're in pain, but it's not too late. Give it to God and you have faith. Just to let go and you really can't wait. It's not too late. It's not too late. It's not too late. It's not too late. Uh, this next piece is entitled Journey to My Future. And I, I pretty much let the pieces speak for itself. If you listen to them, then you know, you know, I don't really have to tell you what they mean. Journey to My Future. I truly wish I could forget about the past. Just get up on this future and ride, ride, ride like an untamed horse across valleys and peaks. Ride until my image becomes smaller to bleak. Riding for days and days turn into weeks. I want to ride, I want to ride, I want to ride. Leaving my future so far behind. Create new visions inside my mind. Galaxies turn to light years, I'm faster than time. Just to let go of my past and free my mind. My past is so deep and I can't let go. Birds weigh so heavy till my forearms grow. I be humming if I do a song. Didn't you know my mind so focused can't stop my flow. Determination inside me continues to grow. Haters throwing bricks, I'm absorbing the blow. I'm not your bro man from the fifth floor, but holding up four. Not going through the window, walking through the front door. So done with my past, can't take no more. 
buildings from pyramids like the lake become seas. Nintendo said a Genesis PlayStation in Wii's like planting a seed that grows to a tree. Memory all the best things in life, they are free. Not riding so fast to leave my last behind. Creating new visions, got elevating my mind. But should I forget the past that I left behind? So hard I work, so hard I grind. Things always change, it's a sign of the times. They say age before beauty, but my beautiful mind. I need to rock my future, and I'm finna forget the pants. We have so many folks, but not too fast. The grass needs a foundation that's built to land. So all my hands can kiss my. This piece is entitled Love You. Because I like love poems that keep y'all on the I've been writing for a while, by the way. So, and I have books on my website, www.marcuspage.webs.com. So I have like seven books. You know, like she's, Trini said, I have a cookbook I wrote with my grandmother. Just came out and I have a short story book. I have poetry books. So, um, like I said, this piece is entitled, Love You. Okay, I love you. But it's not a simple love. It's this crazy emotional sh I love you so much till it makes me sick. I love you so much that I can't think, eat, or sleep. I count images of you instead of counting sheep. I love you. And it didn't start out that way, but it seems that I love you every second of the day. And I couldn't imagine loving you in any other way. So yes, I love you. I love you like clear skies, blue oceans, and butterflies. I even love you like jeans, for boys, man, two chicken, and McDonald's fries. I'm just so high off life from loving you. I even love the way you do that booty do, girl, do that booty do. But seriously, boo, I'm in love with you. I'm in love with the way all day long your hair smell like shampoo, the way you grind your teeth and half when you smile. Even though you don't have much, I'm in love with your style. Last but not least, your attitude's the best. I love the way you don't keep nothing on your chest, and the way you speak your mind and drop a dime to voice your opinion. You don't waste any time. So yes, I love you. I love you like I love Tina before all the fights. I even love you like when the Saints won the championship game that was showing all those highlights. I love you like bread, beans, and rice on a Monday. A grandma when she cooked those big dinners on a Sunday. I love you like I love this city. It's a beautiful place, although sometimes not so pretty. I love you too much to bear. So I stand over here while you sit over there and continue to imagine loving you. Thank you. Mike be the grinder. Uh, welcome back. You just checked out the the footage from uh, Trinice's event at the Cafe Instant Board. I mean, I enjoyed it. I'm sure you did too. So, well, you done heard a little bit about Marcus Page. You know what he's about. You've seen his work. And I know he's working on something new that he want to bring to his poetry to, to bring it to that whole other level. And I'm sure it's going to be, he's going to be a trendsetter. You know what I'm saying? I might be the grinder. So, if you want to book him, hit me up at the number at the end of the screen, 281. 229-0604 and I'm expecting great things from us. So I know you are. So Mark, is there anything you want to leave uh, leave them with? Uh, you want to close it out with? Uh, I know you're going to learn how to get in, go find a book and everything like that, but what is it you want them to remember about Marcus Page? Uh, <clears throat> really, uh, just remember that you know, I'm going to stay in the spotlight. I'm not going nowhere. This is just the beginning. You know, you're going to hear more things from Marcus Page, whether it's me doing something for myself or doing something for someone else, you know what I'm saying? So I'm here to stay. Just remember that. All right, so like I said, we got the book growing pains. You can go to Marcus Page, www.marcuspage.webs.com. M-A-R-C-U-S-P-A-G-E dot W-E-B-S dot C-O-M. Click on the book Growing Pains, it's going to direct you to how you can go get it, okay? So, support us, because we definitely are going to support you. Peace. Peace.